Hey, it's Luminally the Prove It Guy, and we're still focusing on confidence for this month. Confidence isn't just something that you gain and then it stays with you forever. Confidence is something that you have to work on every day. It can go up and it can go down. So you could wake up some morning and feel on top of the world like it's the best day ever. Or you could wake up and feel really low. If you remember that that can happen, that you can have good days and bad days, then the bad days won't really hold you back. So the good days won't last forever, but neither will the bad. So if you can focus on that, then you can start to build upon yourself. So we talked about this before. Show gratitude to yourself for the things that you've achieved throughout the day, throughout the week and throughout the month. And then build upon them. So if you're thankful for things every night, then you can see what you're good at and what you've got through in the day and what you've developed within yourself. And that can help raise your confidence levels. You aren't who you were in the past and you aren't who you're going to be in the future. You are who you are right now. So right now you could be low, you could be high, you could be just in the middle. But knowing that that won't last, like the good times will not last, something's going to happen to pull that down. The bad times will not last, something's going to happen to pull you up. So if you know that, then whenever you're struggling or you're feeling a lack of confidence, you know that it's not going to last. You can see to the future. So we talked about this before in the month as well. Build your confidence by building other people's. Try to build people's confidence by giving them compliments or asking how they are and actually paying attention to see and talk to them about their life and see what's going on within them. A lot of people are walking around and they think that there's nobody around that cares, but if everybody who's thinking that is willing to listen to someone else, then you know that there's someone willing to listen to you. And just listening to someone and them, that person giving you the time of day, that will make you feel more self-worth, which will then improve your confidence. So like I said, you're not who you were in the past. Like in the past, I had long hair. I was not a bald person, but when people see me now, I'm just that bald guy. But in the past, I had flowing long hair and it was glorious. But when I shaved it off, I decided it didn't want to grow back. So then the people that approach me and see me, they see my outer shell and they see that I'm a bald guy with tattoos and I look a bit thuggish but once they get to know me they know that I'm actually quite a nice guy. So just reading someone by the, the look of them isn't going to give you a proper insight into how they're feeling, how they actually are as a person and what they do in their life. So taking the time to actually ask someone how they are and listening to, to their response, you can learn so much more about people but so much more about yourself as well. So remember the good times aren't going to last but neither are the bad. So it's down to you to think about what it is throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month that you can be confident about. What struggles you've got through in the past, what achievements that you've made and focus on those knowing that as each day progresses that you can build and build with on yourself and become the type of person that you want to be. This time next year when you look back the things that were bothering you and holding you back and that you were afraid to do, they could just be an everyday occurrence for you. So have a think about it. What is it that you are good at? If you don't know, just ask someone around you, ask your family, ask your friends what they think it is that you're good at, and then build on that. 